All right, guys, today we get into nuclear craft and steel production. I hope you all have a good time. All right, guys, so this is going to be quite a crafty episode today. Uh, we're getting into nuclear craft, like I said earlier, but um, we're going to need a heck ton of steel for nuclear craft. So before we get into that, we're going to go ahead and make a system where we can automatically get some, some steel going, which we'll have to put a bunch of charcoal or something like that into and then stuff like that okay so i'm trying to think and do this at the same time i'm sorry i'm not really good at that uh, let's go ahead and grab this perfect amount cool so these are going to be our inputs and output uh, we're going to go ahead and build this over here just for now we might end up moving this to a later place because i do plan on uh building upward you know kind of uh building another few platforms on top of this and then, because we do get the elevator blocks, we get a lot of them. So we're, we're going to go ahead and use those eventually. Okay, so we have it here. So input. Uh, we can go here. We need to go grab our conduit, but hopefully we can get our output over here. And this is going to be a steel. So all we'll have to really do is just fill it up with iron and coal, which should be relatively easy. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, because we're not really using our sag mill for anything other than this, we're going to grab our sag mill. Um, we're going to grab a simple Sterling Jenner. We're going to grab some cables. Okay. And then we're also, we need to grab the conduit because we need to get the items into it. We can also, we're going to use some hoppers. Okay, the conduit, yeah, we don't need the hoppers because we have the conduit. Let's grab a Yetta wrench. Uh, what else do we need to grab? That should be okay. We're going to go ahead and grab some upgrades as, as well. Okay. Um, uh, boom, boom. And we're going to need to grab an alloy smelter. Yep. Okay. So steel production is going to start over here. Uh, let me guys know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you like the actual fence or the fence gates? I'm personally more of a fan of the fence gates. I think it looks kind of good, but I do think we need like another support here in the middle, like another fence gate between them, or we just do fence gates because the fence gates do hang off the side. So I don't know if it looks as good. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you think it looks good or if you think it looks stupid, even though you're wrong. But anyway. So let's go ahead, we're just gonna pick these up. We're gonna build it and then we're going to do that fun stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're gonna start with the uh, stir, we're gonna do the sag mill and then the alloy smelter. And then we're gonna do the simple sterling generator. And then we need to run the cables in the back. So we're not gonna do it in this order. We're actually going to put the simple sterling generator in the middle and this here. So that's going to work. We're going to get a whole bunch of uh, coal for this thing. So over here, we're going to have our inputs, our out, our, yeah, inputs. And then over here is going to be our output. So input, uh, it's going to be like this. All right, guys. So here's what I did with the the, the final product for the, the steel processor. Uh, so we have coal iron over here. This one's been exported on the brown channel. This one's going to be on the green one. The green one goes into here. As you can see, it puts the coal into here. I think we, yeah, it goes into here. Uh, and then it gets taken out on the brown channel. Now, the brown channel is also where the iron comes out of and where the crushed coal comes out of. These go in here. As you can see, crushed coal iron ingots. These combine into each other and give us steel. Uh, as you can see, we got like 276 of them. And then we also get a byproduct of sulfur, and that comes up here. And we need to upgrade this guy to the next tier pretty soon here. It's a simple sterling generator. Uh, it's kind of running low on power, but we're also putting a bunch of uh, coal blocks into it like that. And over here, guys, I do have an automatic coal machine kind of set up. Uh, over here, as you can see, we have a bunch of carbon up in the top there. It's being put into our chemical combiner here, and then that is being forced out in here. And as you can see, we got another 49 blocks of coal. Uh, so we're, we put those in there. We actually break them up into half. Half of them go into the input. Half of them go up into the power input. So that's what we got going on now. All right, guys. So I want to get into nuclear craft now, but our problem is, is that our chemical combiner is being used. What are we going to do? What we're going to do, guys, is we're just simply going to buy another because we have $131,000. So we're going to buy another chemical combiner. Bam, a flicking bam, buddy. Uh, so let's see here. Where can we, can we get some cable up under here? I think we can. I think, I think, I think I know we can. All right. Look at that. We got a bunch of cable. Cool beans. So let's go ahead 
And we're going to run this underneath and into our new combiner area. Ooh, got to be careful. Ooh, whoa. Okay, so we're actually going to come... Oh, shoot. We're going to come right down the middle here. And right here. Right here. Look, squid. Squidward. No! All right, guys. So we had to make a new one. Uh, unfortunately, we have like no money left now because of it. Uh, and we only have one more shard, or not shard, but uh, grain of... Oh, actually, we have three grains of infinity. Unfortunately, that's just not enough to make another one of these for our system over there. So we're going to have to uh, get some more gunpowder and stuff like that so we can afford some more going forward. But anyway, we do have our chemical combiner down here. We also have this one automatically just uh, going here. I have to refill this every once in a while. Uh, but we do have some more of this. So we can get that into there. And as you can see, we just sit here and let that convert up and we can just start putting power here so power we're now we're doing pretty well on power uh so yeah i'm excited about that so let's get back into trying to make this isotope separator because this is what we're going to need and so let's look here we should have everything we need to make this guy yes we do and then these guys we should be able to make two of them so that means that we need redstone <laughs> let's go ahead and redstone should be right here we're running dangerously low on redstone, so we got to be careful with this thing. Uh, isotope separator. Cool. So we have it. Now what this is going to do is this is going to break down our thorium and stuff like that into the thorium-232, which is going to be the fuel for our nuclear reactor at first. Now the reason we need a nuclear reactor is because some of the things it produces, like the uranium it gives us, or the plutonium I think is what it's called, is going to be very useful later on. So what we need to do is because now we're starting to generate all of the stuff and things, we need to come over here and build this because it's going to be fun. Okay. So this is our fission controller. This is for the reactor once we have everything uh, hooked up. So we're not going to need that yet. Uh, this is for the fuel reprocessor. Now that's what we're going to be using a lot of. Uh, so we're going to put this guy right here. We need to grab another. We're going to need to make another simple sterling generator because I don't feel like a snag one because I also lost another another generator. Uh, so that means we only have one over here, and it's not doing anything good. So let's go ahead, get that going, because these these could be useful in the future. Oh, manufactory. Yay, look at that. Okay, so we need to go ahead and get some thorium. Yeah, we can only make a few of these. It's take a lot of EMC. So let's get these thorium ingots going. Come over here. And we're going to put these into our guy, into our guy over here. I'm not going to be able to do anything because there's no power. So boom. Oh, not you. I put the wrong thing down. That is our fission controller. We need to put this guy here. Cool. So these are going to be able to go in there. It's going to reprocess that and make it into the fuel. We are the, the component for the fuel we need, but we need to get some power over here. And as much as I don't like it, I think we're just going to have to run a cable all throughout the bottom of this place which will be ridiculous without flight. So we're not going to do that just yet. All right, so we have another simple sterling generator. I just went ahead and crafted it up. Let's go ahead and snack on this real quick. Nom noms. Okay, so let's come over here, put the simple sterling generator in the middle of these two. Bam, and then we're going to throw these guys in here. Cool. This is going to get power, and this is going to get power, and this should start. Only 10 RF per tick, this one, 20 RF per tick. So we're not going to be using this, but the cool thing, well, the cool thing is, is that this should work, right? Yeah, it's going to give us thorium-232. Let's see here. Redstone control. Oh, it's working, but it's slow as heck. We need upgrades. I don't know what those upgrades are for. Uh, let's see. Upgrades, 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 upgrades. Would you just look at it? Okay. Uh, here we are. Speed upgrades. Lots of lapis. Lots of redstone. Uh, we don't have a steady source of lapis right now. We can make it. We need a lot of oxygen. Okay. I'm going to make some lapis. Uh, I might make, actually might make some redstone. We're going to check this stuff out. How are you doing? You're doing okay. We got a lot of steel. Cool. All right. So let's take a look at this. And thorium-232, booyah, right? Yeah, okay. So 
If we look at this, oh, we also got a tiny clump of thorium-230. So 232 uses, very simple. This is what we use for that. It gives us 60 RF per tick, basic heat generation, eight heats per tick uses. We put that into our fission reactor. This gives us depleted TBU fuel. We use this in the fuel reprocessor. We get a tiny clump of uranium. We get a bunch of different uranium stuff and neptunium. And so that's what we need. But we need to get a fission reactor going, which is uh, what we want to be doing next. So let me do some research on it, and I will be right back because I'm not 100% sure. I thought I was, like, I thought I knew what I was doing, but it's a little different. All right, so I did the research, and guys, we only need a few things. Cool thing is we just need a fission reactor casing. We need a reactor cell and lapis cooler to cool everything down. We're going to start with the, uh, the casing here. So just tough alloy and some basic paneling our plating whoa 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 there we go and so we should be able to make a few of these we can't make a lot but let's see we just need more of these which is graphite dust uh how do you make the graphite dust again i forget i know you throw it in here all right we need recipe not oh we need recipe 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 uh crushed coal oh coal oh oh we got crushed coal for days maybe we might have used it all Oh, we used it all. We're going to take some of that. Thanks for the crushed coal. Thank you very much. All right. And then we put it into... Oh, I had to, whew, almost died. Put that into here. Crushed coal gives us some more graphite dust, which will... I believe you combine that with steel and get these plating. Lead. Okay, so let's get some lead going. Uh, get some lead. Cool. So let's go ahead. Pop, 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 pop pop okay so this gives us quite a few quite a few leads enough to make some more of the plating we're gonna need a bit of this so it's another six We've got eight now okay and while we're waiting for that to get made up reactor cell our tough alloy and some yellow glass and then the cooler is going to be empty cooler which is steel and tough alloys so we're gonna need a lot of tough alloy and tough alloy is made from steel and boron, the moron. So let's get some more boron. Okay. Got a lot of ingots. And this is why I got the second one. So we can keep making coal power. And we can do this. We'll make up a few stacks of these. I need to go through and start automating the decomposition. Or whatever it's called of the, um, the other guy. Whatever. Of the ink sacs. Yeah, we need to get the ink sacs made into the titanium, but we can do it with a chemical dissolver. So we'll get that going. We'll get a lot of EMC from it. We'll also get a lot of power from this guy. I like filling these up every once in a while. Like so. We got 63 in there. And we're not even really doing anything, which is really neato. This is going to make our tough, our ferroboron, like we said. And ferroboron to make the tough alloy. That's not it. I uh, need to combine it with lithium. So, make some lithium ingots because we just love making ingots of everything, don't we? Okay. And some more of these. And we are set. We'll just go with a stack. Cool. We're only, we're only like that much. Cool. All right. So, lithium. And where's the ferroboron? There you are. This will give us the tough alloy. Aha, we got more ferroboron. Bam, so look at it. Would you just look at it? Now we're getting some real good stuff. The good, good. All right. All right, let's make some of these reactor cells. We can go ahead and make them. Oh, we can make one. That's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and check back here. Oh, we got 30 tough alloy. We can make a whole bunch more. Very cool. This guy this is working like a dream. I freaking love it. And for some reason, we have this here, but not here, like so. Okay, we'll get that going. Uh, oh, that's right, we didn't need it because we had a simple, we had a, yeah, that's why. Okay, so I actually did run a cable, guys, all the way over here, underneath, just like this. It's wrapping around here. If we check under here, you can see, oh, look, there's the cable, and it goes all the way over there, wraps all the way around. If we went down further, you'd be able to see it, but we're not going to do that just yet. And... Uh, Soon, guys, I do have a bunch of that conduit. We're going to wrap it out to each 
one of these, and that'll be the central power. So our power will be coming from here. Well, we'll I think we'll use ender chests for getting our items around, uh, but that's how the power is going to get around for a while, and we don't really have to worry about it, which is good. Let's grab some more of this monster jerky, so we're okay. And let's, now that we have some more of that, let's get some reactor cells. We only need, I think, three more. Yeah, and these are what we really need to worry about. Yeah, we're going to grab that many because that's what we need. Okay, so we do have a bunch of more uh, fission reactor casings. But we need to get some lapis, guys. And I need to do a lot of lapis grinding. So I'm going to get started on this. I just wanted to show you guys that that's where we were at. Uh, but I'm going to get a whole bunch of this stuff up together. I'm going to make a bunch of it, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So this is the setup I got here. Uh, we have all the materials here. They're being forced into this guy. It's got a lock recipe. I forgot we had these extraction speed upgrades, so I threw them in here just to help us out. But we're running out of power. Actually, we seem to be doing okay with power. That's good. Um, but yeah, look at this. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of EMC that we can throw into our system now. Check this out, guys. Look at that, two million. So at one point, I was I was down quite a bit, quite a ways. Um, and this thing seems to be going pretty good. So we're gonna leave it at this speed just because it's it, there's no speed upgrades. I might just throw one in there, but it's gonna allow us to get more more power in here. So that's good. Uh, but let's grab the lapis from this. We can go ahead and grab everything else. I threw everything up in here that we needed. Actually, we don't need that yet. Good. Okay, so we're going to need to turn the lapis into lapis blocks. And then into the coolers. And we should have everything in theory. In theory. Uh, so let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, so we do have a cable already over here, which I planned on. We're going to tear this all off. Okay. So this is where our reactor is going to go. Um, we didn't bring any, we didn't bring the fission controller, which sucks. Let's go back and get it. <sighs> okay. Where did you go? Where did you go? Um, let's fission control. Oh, I did bring it. Mm. It's a big old rip, boys. Okay, so fission controller is gonna go right here because it's gonna have the power. And I believe that we set it up like this maybe. We might need to actually come up one more with that. Okay, and then lapis cooler and reactor cells. So one, two, Three, maybe. We can come out two of these. Like so, and then like this, like that, and like this. Yeah. And then we're gonna have that there. And I hate how I built this on a half slab, even though it's good for mob spawns, but it's really annoying trying to get on top of things, because like everything's a block and a half tall. Oh, that was an Enderman. That kind of startled me. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and we're going to need an extra cable. Let's grab that while we're here. Um, ba, 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 ba. We're up to, just in case. Okay. Go away. We're going to sleep. I can't only sleep at night. Okay, that makes me sad. All right, so one cable here. Booyah. And then actually... Ooh, I'm glad I grabbed that. Uh, so we're gonna, we're, we need to make another one of those casings, but let's go ahead, put this on top. Like so. Oh, I thought I was going to die, but just kidding. And we need one more casing. No! Ugh, this is infuriating. We're like one short on everything because the material, the, the design I had decided to go for is slightly different than the one I had looked up. And if you guys are wondering, I'm going off a of Chosen Architects video. 
because I do like that guy's stuff so much. Okay. So we need to make two more of these basic plating. Missing one graphite? Not anymore. Okay, there we go. We have enough for that, and we need one more of these guys. And we got it. Cool. Okay, let's head on over here. And I don't have the fuel set up yet. We'll have to go ahead and get that set up in a second. But this is going to go in here and like this. Yep. Okay, so that recognizes it, which is good. That goes there. All right. All right, all right, all right. We might have a we might have a fission reactor going. Let's go ahead and make up that fuel with the thorium. We're going to test it out. So let's see here. Do I have it on me? I do. So it uses into this guy. TBU fuel. All right. And if we put it in here. Is it generating? Minus, minus 390. I think it's working. Yeah, because one of them's gone. So this is working. We're getting power from this. It's very quiet. It's not like a big reactor where it scares the crap out of you and explodes if you do it wrong. Okay, so let's have a look here. We should be like, yeah, max power. Uh, you know, that's a good way to test it. Uh, let's get some carbon. And I'm gonna, whoops, carby, carbon, like that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna get everything out of our inventory and we're gonna test this bad boy out. Okay, so let's get a whole heck ton of carbon here. And if you're wondering how I'm hitting it so fast, I use my pointer and middle finger to hit it. We're going to use up all the EMC. EMC we can. Okay. All right, so that's good. Um, grab you. Grab you. So we'll do you here. You here. And let's see how power is doing. That's weird. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so it's kind of kicking in on this guy, but not really. We're getting a lot of that now. And our fission reactor. I think, I, I'm pretty sure it's working. It, I could be wrong, though. Zero RF. Three by one by three fission reactor. TBU. Energy source zero. Power generation 300 for 100% efficiency. Okay. I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> this is so weird. There's like no indication that it's working. Um, I don't know. It's probably powering all of the cables right now. If I'm not mistaken, they hold power. Um, but yeah, I think we got it working. If you guys don't think it's working, let me know down in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure it is, but it's acting weird. But guys, gonna wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. You guys been Super Turtle, and I'm out. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. Look at the sun. Now it's me.